Hi, in this video we will build a base sequence using Polyroots step sequencer and I will uh, show you how this can be done. Um, I would suggest that you start with establishing the key in which you want the sequence to play. There are a few reasons for this. Um, first of all, if you know your tonality um, then it's going to open up new possibilities for you. You will know how to progress from from that starting point. Whereas something random is unlikely to give you meaningful musical results. It may happen by accident, but I think you're much better off um, starting in a structured way. For example, I will begin with C minor. Another reason for starting with C is that if the basic sequence is in C, it's easily transposable to other keys, okay? So, here's, uh, here, 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 these are my sounds, my keys, my notes. And the arpeggio that I'm going to play is simply this, the root note, the seventh of the scale, and C octave higher. Let's record it. Okay, this is not hugely inspiring yet. What we can do now at this point is subtract certain steps to make it more rhythmically interesting. key ingredient for these type of things, these type of uh, rhythmic patterns, is to use the delay. Now, we are going to use the delay level and crucially the delay time. Um, let's have a listen. Okay, now we need to extend the delay time. Set some drums, um, which is also an important part because it's the again an interaction between the bass pattern and the drums, which will hopefully make the song flow, I guess. Can add a 
and so on and so forth. So I hope this gives you the basic idea on how to get started with step sequencing on, on the polygroup. There's more to the step sequencer. You can work on expression of each individual step by various tools. But this is the, let's say, rough idea of, of how to get started. Um, so I hope you find it useful and if so, then please click uh, the button and uh, until next time.